Hi, this is Sandra, founder of Summa Cum Flood, where success... Oh, wait. Dang, guys, I'm sorry. I just woke up from a nap, low-key. Failure is a springboard for success, not a highway to hell. Um, well, it's the day after Valentine's Day and my daddy's birthday, so I'm, I'm happy today. Um, this is just a short update video slash gratitude video, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I low-key am also procrastinating. I have like three assignments that I need to get done today and uh, I've been struggling to complete them. So I figured why not just vlog? Um, so, but this is something I've been thinking about for a little while. So yesterday was Valentine's Day and for the first time in a long time, or I guess for the first time in my adult life, I had an incredible Valentine's Day. And the kicker is, I'm single. I don't have a Valentine. So how is it that I can enjoy Valentine's Day without a boo? Well, it's quite simple, actually. Um, I just got to reflecting and thinking about where I am in life. And I realized my relationship status doesn't define me. And it sounds so simple and cliche, but it's so true. Um, in the past several months, so many things have happened um, that really trump, you know, whether I am or am not in a relationship with someone. I got into Harvard, finished my first semester at Harvard. I'm in my second semester, staring graduation down in the face. Um, I completed a ghost writing project, like I ghost wrote a book. I've been growing, learning, changing. Um, I've been exploring the city and building friendships and learning things and doing new things. For instance, I was featured on a podcast um, recently, super recently. And it's just like, I have a lot going on that like, I don't have time to feel sorry for myself because of this one thing that I don't have yet, right? And so, um, you know, as women, we often hear, you know, all of this advice being thrown at us, love yourself and you better, you know, uh, take care of you. And as you're taking care of you, a man will come and don't feel sorry for yourself for being single and all of this stuff. And um, sometimes we can like roll our eyes because it's like, oh, I've heard this over and over again, but I still want to be in a relationship. But I'm just here to tell you that like, it's true when you, well, let me speak my own truth. It's true for me that um, as I focus on, you know, achieving my goals in life and becoming the person that I, I strive um, to be and the person that I desire to be, this like, uh, this discontent is dislodged, right? And so, of course, like I said, of course I wanna be married someday and definitely wanna have children. And also I recognize that I am not in a relationship right now. And, um, you know, that's a fact. But I'm also living a really fabulous life, right? And I just don't have the time or the energy to spend on what it is that I do not have. And so when I think back to yesterday, you know, I, I was hanging out with a bunch of girls and um, it was just fun. We were just chilling. It was great. And I just literally had no time to feel any type of like yearning or like ache or melancholy. Um, it was just a very joyous atmosphere. And even today, so I watched the photograph with Issa Rae. No spoilers, no spoilers. Um, and I mean, it was really, it was, it was a cute movie. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily conduct my love life like that, but no judgment here. Um, but it was really cute. And also it was definitely emotional. Like I definitely cried because um, there were just, the movie brought up a lot, but it wasn't even like, for me personally, it wasn't even like, oh, I wish I had a boo. It was more so just about like intergenerational trauma, but that sounds like a really strong word to use, just in an intergenerational cycles and things that happen from generation to generation. And like, what does it look like to be someone that breaks the cycle of these intergenerational patterns? And that to me is what I saw in the movie. And that's what resonated with me the most. Not so much this, oh, I want a man. Like, so I'm all over the place right now, but 
who cares this is my channel <laughs> and so anyway yeah but um i guess i just wanted to throw out an encouragement out there for any single young women who may even be like me right so i'm single i'm 27 years old um and when i thought about like you know i'm a very future oriented person uh, i've been planning out my future since i was a little girl when i was five i had dreams of being married and having children like actual dreams like in the night not like daydreams like no i would go to sleep and i would dream these things right and like i remember just thinking to myself yeah i'm gonna be married or like at least in a relationship by 25 and 25 came and 26 and now i'm 27 and i'm turning 28 and it's just like the thing that i've desired I don't know if I would say most, but like the thing that I've wanted for a very long time has not happened. And what will my response to that be? And it's like, I can either choose to be bitter or upset um, because, you know, there there are people that are living life, right? According to no standards, or maybe, you know, they have standards, whatever. And they're just out here. You know, there was this hashtag on, what was it? Instagram, hashtag hoes be winning. Um, now I'm I'm getting to be <laughs> now I'm like I'm probably offending some people. I apologize, but it was it was a ha it was a hashtag. Who's be winning? And it's like sometimes you can look at that and be like, dang, like you know, why is it that there are certain people um, who seem to be prospering or seem to be getting what I want um, and I'm not? And you can have that attitude, or you can um, focus all of your attention and energy not on other people and what they have, but on you and what you got going on. And that's what I've decided to do. And I've seen my attitude shift tremendously to the point where a whole Valentine's Day passed and I didn't have a single moment of melancholy or like, you know, wistfulness. Of, oh, I wish I had big. And it's so crazy too. Like I felt so much love, right? So like, you know, a bunch of girlfriends got me chocolate and candy. And I was like, dang, people really love me out here. Um, and it was just really, it was just so nice and affirming, right? And and you don't get to experience that if you're so, if you decide to be so stuck on what it is that you don't have, right? Um, but let me not preach. Let, let me let other YouTubers preach. Me, I'm just sharing my experiences and my life and the way that I process things. And, um, and yeah, I'm having a really great valentine's day weekend i'm going to church tomorrow i'm visiting another church and i'm really excited about that um and yeah i was supposed to be encouraging somebody um i guess my encouragement to you is just do you hashtag india Ari. that's a song by india Ari. it's a really good song just do you live your life um love yourself <sighs> that sounds so cliche and corny i know but yeah seriously love yourself whatever that means whatever that looks like um and achieve the goals that you want, um, including the relationship goals. And I don't mean uh, hashtag relationship goals, babe, but I mean like investing in friendships, right? Meeting people. Um, I think part of what also made my Valentine's Day, and honestly this month and the past few months so great is that I've started investing in relationships more and um, I'm making friends, I'm meeting people and, um, yeah, and it's so funny because I was, I've had moments of cynicism, right? Where I felt like, dang, like, I feel like I'm pouring out all this energy and it's not being reciprocated and forget this. I'm just going to focus on me and my career or whatever. But it's so funny how as soon as I made that decision in my head, like, relationships just started, like, opportunities just started coming my way. Like, I started meeting people, started hanging out and, um... Yeah, and, and from that place of like saying yes to to spending time with people, there's like a reciprocity of love and support that you can feel. So go ahead and invest in your relationships and your friendships. And if you don't have friends, let's talk because it's no judgment. I understand that making friends in adulthood can be hard um, because it takes a level of intentionality that's not necessarily required when you're in high school and college and whatnot. So let's talk. Let's talk about friendships. Um, but anyway, this is like longer than I expected. Just wanted to let y'all know I'm alive. I had a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I may or may not be posting a review for the photograph. Um, I may or may not be doing that. But it's all good.
all right i hope you have a wonderful day afternoon evening wherever you are please don't forget to like comment um and subscribe and hit the bell you know that little bell thing so that you actually get notified when i upload a new channel and uh love yourself cherish your life remember that you are incredible you are amazing um and the journey is not over it's only just begun okay hope you all um are great and i'll see you next time Bye.